This academic year at Penrice, we're really excited to be launching a brand new set of reports for our parents and students. They're called character reports, and they bring together a huge range of information about how your child is getting on with their education. They sit alongside our academic reports, which give you really detailed information about how your child is progressing in each of their subject areas, but these reports pull together lots of generic information about your child's education. During their time with us, it's really important that children develop their character as well as learning lots of skills and knowledge in each of their subject areas. So during their time with us, they'll develop their civic, moral performance and intellectual virtues, making them into a really well-rounded individual. The reports that you're going to be given every half term, our character reports, will produce a variety of different pieces of information. And all of these bits of information let you know how much they're developing those character virtues. So the information they include, things like attendance, merits, behaviour points, their ready to learn scores in lessons, and I'll tell you more about those shortly, the homework completion and their engagement with enrichment. The report begins by providing you with a summary, a really quick, easy way of understanding how your child is getting on for each of those different aspects. And this is based on just the last half term. So every half term this resets, so if you have a bad half term, you can absolutely turn that around next time round if you change the way you approach it as a student. So you'll get a grade for attendance, merits, points, ready to learn homework and enrichment. Resets every half term. So I'm going to talk you through each of those categories and how they're graded and what information is on the report for you. As you know, attendance at school is absolutely essential for students to be developing as individuals and for their academic achievement as well. So the report will classify your child's attendance just for that last half term into those five categories. And you'll be able to see on the graph on the report how their attendance this last half term compares to the year as a whole and how it compares to the previous academic year as well. You'll also be told how many lates they've had to school and how many individual lessons they've missed because every lesson they miss is the potential appears for that child to get further behind than their peers. Attendance is really important and we have a whole range of different support mechanisms at Penrise to help your child be here as much as possible. The next section of the report details how many merits and behaviour points your child has got whilst they've been with us during that term. So you can see how many merits they got over the course of last term and the year as a whole. For the first report of the year, those two numbers are going to be the same. How many behaviour points they've got for the term and for the year as a whole. And you can also see in the little section in blue how many merits the year group on a whole has got on average. So you can compare your child to the average. The number of merits and points contribute to that score in the top section. The more merits you get, the higher the score will be. The lower the number of points, the higher the score will be. And this is a really brilliant way for the students to develop their civic, moral and performance virtues, demonstrating the values of our school of pride, respect and success. You'll also be able to see a week by week breakdown of when those merits and behaviour points have been accumulated. The next section of the report is about homework. So we report how many times students have missed homeworks. So you can see that based on the term or half term and the year as a whole. You can also see when the last time your child logged in to Show My Homework was. So you can see if they're accessing their homework regularly. Show My Homework or Satchel One is the platform that all of our homework is shared through. You'll also see in the next section of the report, Ready to Learn, that homework broken down by subject area. I'm going to talk now about Ready to Learn. This is a new introduction for us partway through last academic year and is going to be reported on every half term. So each lesson, teachers will give students a score from one to five for their readiness to learn, for their character traits to do with learning. So that includes how they demonstrate a range of intellectual and performance virtues. So in some lessons, they might demonstrate real resilience and resourcefulness and perseverance while they're trying to solve problems. In other subjects, they might look at curiosity and being really deep thinkers in that subject area. Some lessons they might demonstrate their teamwork, others they might demonstrate their autonomy. We don't expect all students to demonstrate all of these virtues all at the same time, because that would be impossible, but we would expect in some lessons some of these virtues to be really obvious. And those are then scored on a scale of one to five for their engagement with these different character traits. 
The report then gives you an average for each of those subjects that the child has studied. So you can compare subjects like English, where they might be really high performing, to PE, where they're maybe not demonstrating those character virtues as strongly. And that allows you to have conversations with your child about how they're getting on in each of those subject areas. This section will also show how many missed homework tasks they have in each of those subject areas. The section in blue tells you in total how many lessons did they score one of those top fours or fives in during that half term. And we want that to be as high as possible. If you keep these reports from half term to half term, you'll be able to make some really good comparisons between how they're getting on with that. The summary section at the top of the report gives you an overall grade for your readiness to learn. So you can see this particular student has an average of 3.21 across all their subjects, all their lessons. And that's given them a grade of confidence. The way that grade is calculated is we take an average for all their subjects and we compare that to the average of all the children in their year group. And based on where they rank in their year group, they then get given a grade. So if they're in the top 20%, they'll get exceptional ready to learn grading. The next section of the report is about enrichment. That's attending our extracurricular provision, Penrice Plus. That might be going to sports fixtures, engaging in arts enrichment, or um, intellectual challenge clubs after school. A whole range of different activities contribute to that. It might be going on a school trip or a visit. So it's not just about after school. There's a whole range of different activities as well. To be given an exceptional grade in this category, your child would need to do something once a week to demonstrate they're really committed to doing uh, an extra bit of enrichment as part of their journey with us. And that really helps them to develop civic, moral and performance virtues that contribute to them being a well-rounded individual. If you want a more detailed guide about how those grades are calculated and a little bit more information about the report, there's a little detailed explanation on our website which you can read through that's got how all the criteria are judged on it as well. Finally, just to finish, I hope you find this report really useful. We conducted a parent survey last academic year and one of the bits of feedback was that parents wanted to know more regularly how their child was getting on with their education. So this is the way in which we're responding to your feedback to give you more regular, more detailed information about your child and their engagement with their education. As always, if you've got any questions, then please get in touch. There are lots of opportunities on that report to scan QR codes to be taken to information and also some really key contact information for people that are really heavily involved in your child's education. Thank you very much.